pay for every ounce of pain that they caused you. God is going to put you together in front of the people that destroyed you. That's your justice. Them getting that tower moment after what they did to you and you being fucking happy. Having love all around you. Look at that. And you're not tripping. No, you're not. You see that? This is going on. These people were judging you. All because they were in their own toxic devil energy. Controlling. Narcissistic. These people are gossiping. They're gossiping, but they're being dishonest about gossiping. All because... And look, it's noticeable. It's noticeable. What you reap, you reap what you sow. That's starting to come. That tower moment, these people are in their head. And they're spiraling, trying to control everything. Playing mind games. Trying to control. Gossiping lying and the divine's like you're gonna reap what you sow it's noticeable people are noticing you're going through a tower moment this person you probably notice they're very defensive they're very 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 defensive and it's like it's because they feel that justice coming you are gonna be up high and vibrant and they're gonna be put down by god put down by god the way they put you down for years weeks months who knows i'm getting that they're everything they did for you how long they've done it is the amount of karma they're going to get for what they did to you. But just going with the tarot. Let's expose them and see who you are. I was getting water. Water. You could be water. You're dealing with water slime. Let's see. Mm. You could be a man. Or you could be dealing with a man. But you're realizing that people don't want you to grow. People don't want you to grow. They're holding you back. Look at that. You're even realizing you like to be alone. You like to be alone. You feel like you're getting nowhere in this situation. And these people, you can tell that they, they're clinging on to you and lying and trying to be like, no, we're not talking shit. No, no, we're not. No, trying to play innocent, playing mind games. And the divine's like, you still haven't learned. There's a reason these people are trying to get in your energy so bad. And it's because they know that divine, look at that. <laughs> these people are getting nowhere. They think that they are. And the thing is the divine keeps seeing. It's noticeable. That tower moment is hitting you because you are toxic. You work in dark devil energy. And the divine is not protecting them. I'm getting that. That's why that, that tower moment is coming. Whatever they did to you forever, how long they've done it, it's going to start happening to them. If it was weeks, months, years, the amount of time that these, this person or these people put you in this type of situation, drama, making you feel like you were being picked on, almost like high school, like a bully. That's going to happen to them. And the thing is, they know the divine is not coming to protect them. There's a reason why they're clinging to you, trying to play mind games, lying that they weren't talking shit. No, because they know that war in the spiritual realm, in the 3D, they're going to get it both. The spiritual world is going to attack them. Their physical world is going to fall apart. And they know they're not going to get protected. All because all those illusions they hid from you. All the illusions they hid from you. I'm, I'm getting water. Water, earth, air. I'm getting all signs in fire. Somebody was trying to purposely trigger you. Purposely trigger you. It could have been your soulmate. Or it could have been somebody purposely triggering your soulmate to fight with you. But I'm seeing that either way, no matter what happened, whatever they did, trying to play those mind games, gossiping, they're going to reap what they sow. Whatever they did to you is going to happen in their own life. Own life. Look at that. Immaturity. This person was very immature with you, very hot and cold with you. Look at that. All because you're passionate. You have passion. Your desire. These people, this person is jealous of that. They don't want you to strive. Almost like I'm getting like, these people tear you apart and use you. Almost like they talk to you or come to you when it's convenient for them. Only when they need something from you. They don't fucking care about you. There's a reason why the divine is making them go through it because they're like, you're a fake ass. You're dishonest. That's why you're going to go through it in the spirit realm and in the 3D world. Literally, I'm getting these people only talk to you when it benefits them, when they want something from you. And that's why the divine, they're removing them. They're removing them because they saw what you didn't see. You, you are learning lessons. You're growing as a person. You're teaching lessons, learning lessons. You're trying to come in fast and build, in, build your home life. Build your stability, money, home, finances career your stability within yourself your stability within your relationship you're just trying to grow and prosper and these people this person was trying to stop you so the divine oh in my eyebrow even itch the divine is gonna make them go through what they wished for you 
what they wish for you. Their home life is going to be affected. Their money is going to be affected. Their relationships are going to be affected. Their stability within themselves is going to be affected. Look at that. They're fighting the change. I'm telling you, I'm getting even like, these people are so in denial that they've done this. And they're not a good person. They're in denial that they were playing mind games and that they're gossiping and it's catching up. They're in denial about that tower moment. But the thing is, they know the divine is not protecting them. Their own subconscious is telling them and they're scared. And I'm getting these people are even fighting that change. Like, no, I didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing. But their subconscious is like, remember when you did that? You did. You can lie to yourself all you want, but you're going to face the karma if you keep lying to yourself. <laughs> but I was getting this song when I was meditating which I was listening to it earlier and I was like, it's popping up again for a reason. And it was like, I need a favor by jelly roll. I'm getting these people only pray to God when they want something, when they need something in the mid, almost like these people use God the way they use you. When they need something, they come and take it, act all nice. And then once they get what they want, they go. And then they come back. And I'm telling you, these people right now are praying to God. Like, please, please help me. I didn't mean to do this to this person. And God's like, yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. You treat this person so awful and um, you treat them like you take them for granted and you take me for granted now you're praying to me to help you get rid of the karma you caused to this person when this i'm getting you're the type of person you have a connection with god with this card you talk to god on the daily these people this person they only talk to god when they need something once they get what they want they forget about god they don't have a relationship with god you do and they're over there begging god please please and god's like no you're going to get this tower moment because you're going to realize you take things for granted in your life and you try to control things. You're dishonest. You're a liar. You're basically a bully. You're a phony. Look at that. Bottom of the deck. This person is hot and cold with you. Hot and cold with you. Look at that. Because they long for more in life, so they take it out on you. They're a bully. This person's a bully. There's a reason why the divine is going to put you together in front of them. There's a reason. But let's go with the cards. Let's see. Let's see what else comes out. Be the light in the dark. I'm telling you, you've been around so much. People, God has seen the connections around you. They're fake. The people around you are fake. They're genuinely, they don't care for you. And he's ask, he kept asking you, stay put. Be positive. Don't let that darkness, don't let it consume you. Be the light in the dark. Be the light in the dark. Because he saw these people attacking you out of their own insecurities. Their own insecurities. Recharge. I'm telling you, your aura it's so vibrating that people come and use you because you recharge them. These people have taken so much from you that you have to recharge right now. And God is asking you to recharge. But the thing is, you're recharging and he's putting you together. He's helping you this time. He's going to put you together so fucking strong that these people can't even tear you apart. If they try, they're going to get that instantly. I'm getting they're getting that instantly now. Look at that. You aligned yourself. Two, two, two. You're aligning yourself. God is helping you. There is a secret tension. These people don't like you. They only use you. They only use you when it's convenient for them. They don't care about you. They don't check on you. They don't just conversate with you. No, they come and get stuff and talk to you when they want something. But when you want something, it's like, hit the road. Bye. Who are you? I don't care. But that, the divine has seen how these people treated you. Basically, like you're a toy. Throwing you around. Not taking care of you. You know, like basically you're, you're, neg you're being neglected. You're being neglected. The divine has seen that you are being neglected by the people around you. So he's going to put you together in front of them, in front of their physical roles. I'm telling you, he's going to fuck the fuck up. I'm getting there already feeling that mental and it's like, it hasn't hit yet in the 5d spiritual realm. That's why they're fighting it. But they're realizing their 3d world, money, love, career, you know, stability is messing up. And they keep coming back to you. Keep maybe looking you up, seeing that you're doing good and you're shining bright. And they can feel their own darkness around them. Almost like the, the energy they stole from you, you, you took it back. And now they, they have to recharge and they have nothing. They're, they're basically in the dark. And they're losing everything. I'm telling you, whatever they wanted for you, that's starting to happen to them. Childhood. This could be people from your childhood. These people could have childhood trauma and that's why they're taking it out on you. What's meant for you will always come to you. I'm telling you, these people are trying to take away almost like your good luck, your love, your aura. They're trying to take away your good vibration. And the divine's like, no, this is meant for them. You're, you're going to go down for trying to stop this person when all they wanted to do was grow for me, for the divine. You wanted to grow and become a better person. These people didn't want that. So they're going to face that tower moment. You are one of a kind person. I'm telling you. 
your connections with people, they're real. You don't just, like, I'm getting you're the type of person, you have that small circle. But the ones that are in your circle, you, you would die for them. That's the type of person you are. You're not fake. These people that are around you, though, that you're getting that vibe. I'm getting, look, it's not in your head. You're not tripping. That vibe you're getting, yeah, they're a phony. And you're a real bitch. You're a real ass dude. That's why they're jealous. That's why they're judgmental. I told you that tower moment, that physical, that physical world, 3D, they're going to get delays back to back to back to back. Tower moment after tower moment after tower moment. Because the divine asked them, respect this person, respect them and cherish them and stop bullying them. Did they stop? No. Instead, they kept gossiping and they kept lying about gossiping, playing mind games to make themselves look innocent. And now that that war is coming yeah look at that love money life career health mental health this person is gonna go through it look at that people i'm getting a couple people honestly i was getting one two i was getting two people look at that you're taking your cup away and god is asking you love yourself instead of giving that cup to that person that you know that person's a phony you know they take you for granted you know that they only want you when they want something from you take that away i'm getting even god was like no 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 no, no. when you're trying to give that person that cup they they stopped you they stopped you god stopped you the divine your angels stopped you and they're like give that cup to you you deserve that cup because you are a one of a kind person you have connections that are genuine. This person, they don't. They're a bully. Take that love away now. Now. But let's see. Let's just see what else with the cards. What else comes out? Angel. The anger isn't the first made you emotion you feel. I don't know why I said angel, but maybe your angels are here and they're like, you're not mad. You're sad. It's almost like you realize how much, how much you've been taking for granted. Like how much you put up with, how much people really get away with acting like you are the villain when really they are the bullies you know and i think it's starting to be very noticeable to you how much you have been taken for granted and how much people have tore you apart to build themselves and you're even like wow i'm not i'm not mad it's just like that realization like damn like it is what it is moon healing you could even the maybe that's why I said angels, because your angels like go out to the full moon. The full moon will recharge you. Whatever these people did to you, taking your energy, go out into the full moon and you will recharge. I'm getting that's what God is gonna how God is gonna help you put you together in front of these people. Recharge yourself. Go out into the moon when it's a full moon. Even when it's not. A grandma could be significant. Maybe it was your grandma. Somebody is defending you. Maybe your grandma's defending you. Somebody was trying to protect their reputation. I'm telling you, I was getting two people. I was getting two people. I was getting one of them is like in denial. I didn't do nothing. And I'm getting the other one is starting to realize their life's messing up. And they're starting to realize like their subconscious telling them, but you did do that. You did do that. So I'm getting one is like almost like they're turning on each other. And one, one feels bad because they know that tower moment is about a smack. It's already smacking. And the other one is like, no, I did not do it on purpose. They caused this. All this happened is their own fault. And I'm getting even like the person, like both of them praying. I'm getting both of them praying. And one of them, the divine is like, quit then. If you stop picking on them, then it will be over. But this other person, they still haven't come to that conclusion that they were bullying you. So the divine is going to make them go through it the hardest the hardest because they purposely were triggering you and they don't want to admit it. They're still being dishonest about all these mind games and this gossiping they were doing to you. Let's see, what else? The tables have turned. The tables have turned. I was getting in my head like, you're about to eat. You're about to feast. Like your table is set for you. God is gonna put you together in front of those who broke you. Your table is set with food. Your placemats, your chairs, you have people designed for those tables and the people that were bullying you people that took you apart out of their own insecurity and are still being dishonest that they were bullying you they're gonna sit on the floor and watch you eat with your people they're gonna sit down on the floor and watch you eat with your people but i don't know i don't know look at let's see what else let's see what else just see what else of the tarot look at that these people i'm telling you the one that is still fighting it they're mentally 
they're not going to get out of their mantle. I'm getting that their 3D world is fucking up and they still haven't realized the realization. So the divine and God is like, all right, your mentality, you're going to go fucking crazy because you wanted this person. You sent so much energy to this person. You used this person so much. You lied on them so much. You made them go through that chaos and you still don't want to admit you did it because you're trying to, where's that? <gasps> there it is. You're trying to protect your reputation, protect your image. So now all your fears are going to come to life. Oh my goodness. You're going to end up walking away from this person. You're going to end up walking away because you're going to realize you are on my team. You don't get to sit here with me. I got my team. You can go. You can go. Look at that. You like, I'm getting, you have a small circle. You like to be alone. You don't like attention. You don't like fake ass energy. You like to be, you, you like your energy. You know your energy is unique. You know it's unique. Where's that card? You know your energy is unique. You know you're not a fake ass bitch. You're not. The people around you, they really care for you. They're like your family. Even if they're friends. Those are real bonds. Soul bonds. Not just fake asses to have friends because you want friends. Have acquaintances because you want people to hang out with. No. Your connections are real. They're real. And the thing is the divine, they're blessing you for a reason. They're going to put you together in front of those who tore you apart. The same people that took pieces from you to put themselves together, God is going to make them watch as he rips those pieces off of them and puts them on you. And puts them on you. But let's see, I have my angel deck. Let's see what advice, because this was heavy. These people were sending energy, maybe even trying with that, that recharge, almost like using your aura to recharge them physically. And your, phys your physical health could have really been going through it because of it. And the divine is like, return to sender. Return to sender. Healthy choices. You've been making healthier choices. I feel like you're even realizing, I'm not going to hate. I'm going to live and be happy and jump all around. That's what I'm going to do. And the divine, there's a reason why they're going to put you together in front of, say with me, in front of those who broke you. Yeah. Because he saw you make those good decisions. They saw these people affecting, that they were causing so much turmoil within you that your, your, your health and your mental health was going through it because of them. Now they're going to go through it because of what they did to you. But let's see. Let's see what else before we close out. What is, else advice you got? Balance. You've been balancing more. I feel like the divine is even asking you to walk away from the situation to balance yourself. Pick you. Where's that? Yeah, pick you. You're beautiful. You're beautiful inside and out. You don't need this. You don't need people that use you at your convenience, that don't even cherish you. Balance. You want to balance? Clear out your vibes. People are sending energy. Clear out your vibes. I was also getting in my head, call back your power. Call back your power. Which is basically when I say, I'm like, I call back my power from every person, place, thing, entity, dimension, lips, and soul. I call it back to me. Any energy that is mine is mine. Energy that is not mine, I return back to its rightful owners and senders. And I ask God to purify any energy that's within me. Do that shit. Do that shit because the divine is telling you, you got love. But the thing is, they want you to walk away. Where's that other card? I can't even find it. But they want you to walk away because you are a one-of-a-kind person. You don't deserve this. You deserve to be cherished and loved and valued. Not treated like a, a, a neglected toy thrown around. You know you know how Toy Story? You remember how, how um, Andy's neighbor, the first movie where... Woody and Buzz were over there. You see how that kid treated his toys? That's how these people treat you. That's why guys, I walk away because they don't deserve you. They don't deserve you. But you let me know in the comments who it is. I was getting... <sighs> anyone. Coworkers. Lover. Friends. Family. Anyone. Anyone that's being a bully to you. That took, that literally put you in a mental state and they thought that shit was funny. That shit's going to be funny now when God puts them in it. And they have to watch you be happy. But you let me know in the comments who it is. Um, yeah, I post every Monday through Friday around 3 or 4. Um, email me if you have personal readings or just message me. Um, but yeah, have a good one. Just remember. Just remember. There's a reason why the divine is blessing you. There's a reason why. You're balancing. And all that they did to you, it will be returned. But peace out. Have a good one.